So the, the minus question is minus minus. Just a second. Let me. The question is you have an equation ax plus by plus k equals to zero. I want you to give me an equation of another line which is perpendicular. Minus one divided by. Give a line that is perpendicular to above line. Minus one divided by. What should it be? Minus one divided by a. Yes. Minus a divided by x plus b. Let's write down. Let's write down. What did you say? Minus a. Minus a divided by x. A divided by x. Yes. No, minus one divided by a. Minus one divided by a. X. X. Plus. 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 B C. B C. B Y. What was the observation that we made earlier, Baba? What was the observation? That's the problem, you see. That's the problem. You are not taking whatever you need to learn from the examples that we are doing. I, we have already spoken about it. We have already spoken about it here. Here. What happens with the coefficients? Minus what happens with the coefficients? Minus bx plus ay plus minus bx plus, plus, plus ay ay plus a plus k k can change right? This is the thing right? What are you thinking about? This is what I wanted to tell you about by giving this one. You see. By asking you this question, I wanted to ask you, I wanted to come to this conclusion here. I didn't ask you just like that, just for fun. I mean, it's for fun, but you have to learn from the examples, no? We are not wasting time here. From each example, there is something to learn now. Right? For example, give me an equation which is parallel to this one. Give me one. Parallel, yes? AX, BY, plus Well, K, of course, is the same line, but I need another line which is perpendicular, which is parallel, sorry. Plus T equals to 0. Where T and K should not be equal if they have to be different, right? T and K should not be equal. So you have to develop from solving uh, an example and putting it into some kind of knowledge, you see? Coming up with an idea that, that is general. Right? Hmm. Similarly, let's say x equals to zero. I want you to think about a line which is perpendicular to this one. Find a line which is y is equal to zero. Y is equal to zero. Y equals to zero. Why? Think of this line in the form of ax plus by plus k equals to zero. Can you think of this line? Can you express this line in the in that form? Can you express x equals to zero in that form? Ax plus by plus k equals to zero. No. Yes, I can. <laughs> I can write like this. I can express like this. One x. Zero, zero times. Uh, sorry. One one times x. One times zero times x plus zero times y plus zero, plus zero, zero times k equals to zero. Coefficients are zero. That's all. There is hidden message. Huh? So yes, now let's write down an equation which is perpendicular to this one. You have to exchange the coefficients. Exchange the coefficients. I'm not dancing. <laughs> you have to exchange the coefficients. Who takes what? Zero yes, x. Zero x. x. Minus zero x. One goes there, zero comes here. Minus one of them should be minus. Plus minus. Minus, minus zero x. Zero, zero times x, x plus, plus one minus times minus y. y. Plus zero times 
Simplify this one. Y is equal to zero. Y equals to zero. Then that's what we are looking for. Hey, Baba. No? Yeah, yes. <laughs> Let me ask you another question then. What about x equals to 3? Can, can you write a line that is parallel to this line? Y equals to 3. Y equals to 3 is parallel. Let's check. Parallel. I'm asking you parallel. Parallel. Yeah, parallel. Yeah. Parallel. Yeah. X equals to 2. X equals to 2 is parallel. This is not parallel, huh? This is not parallel. That's what he said. They're not parallel. This is parallel. So, let's write this here. line in the form of x plus dy plus a times x, right? a times x plus b times y plus what? This one has to be written in this form. Plus 2. 2? No, 2 into 0. 2 into 0. 2 into 0? Am I going to get this equation from here to here? I'm writing this equation in this form. 3 into 10. Where? Plus 3 equals to 0? No. No. C into 0. Huh? Minus 3. Minus 3, Baba. Minus 3 equals to 0. Check. Both of them are same. Yes. Both of them are same. Now, if we want to write an equation which is parallel to this one, this part has to be this part has to be minus same. <laughs> when it's perpendicular, you exchange and you put a minus, hello? So 1 times x plus 0 times y. Here yeah. coefficient you can put minus whatever you feel like. That's the thing. Two. Minus 2. Let's say minus 1, minus 0. So x equals to 2. Is perpendicular. Uh, parallel, sorry. Play around like this. Play around with these equations. Try to make sense of and relation of one equation with the other. That's how you master coordinate geometry. Later on, it's not going to be difficult if you understand. The moment you see an equation, oh, okay, this is this, this is going down, this is going up, this is there, these are perpendicular, this is parallel, huh? this is making this much of angle, 